Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Monday. I have some more books to share with you. I had such a fun bookish weekend. I already shared my Saturday book haul and I actually ended up going shopping again yesterday, which was a really fun excursion. And I will tell you more about that in a little bit. But I also came home yesterday to some book mail, which I'm so excited about. Um, one is a box and one is something that I ordered that actually came. So I'm gonna start with the box first because this glory was a present from Kim at Middle of the Book March. And I, um, I opened up the box, but I haven't taken the books out yet. I, I, I you guys have no idea how excited I am to get a present from Kim that Kim went book shopping and saw these books and thought of me. Wait a minute. I got to go get a pair of scissors. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. Now I get very nervous with scissors. <laughs> near books, but I'm going to be very careful with these. They're very nicely and safe wrapped up. Kim, what a treat. I, I just, this just has made, made my day, my week, my month, my year. All right, I'm getting closer closer. So, I mean, isn't it fun just to think somebody was out shopping? This is what's the most fun for me. Somebody was out shopping, somebody that lives far away from me that I only know online, and she saw books and thought, I'm going to get those for Gina. I just, oh, thank you, Kim. And the first one is, I mean, you guys, this one is Summer at Fairacre. It is it's a misread. Look at that beautiful cover. This is funny because I actually have just been talking to Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading. Um, she just got a copy of this uh, in a paperback edition recently and was asking me if she should read it. And now I have a beautiful hardback edition to add to my collection. I do also have a paperback edition. I pulled this one out because I'm probably going to give it away. Um, but, oh my gosh, look at this. This is just, this is perfect. This is an absolutely, like, brand new condition. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, oh, you guys, two from Angela Thurkle. The first of um, which is Jutland Cottage, which I have not, I've not read, and I'm very excited to get to. It's really look at that's another really really gorgeous cover, and then another Angela Thurkle, Happy Returns. Return, which is another one I have I've not heard of and not read. So I'm so excited to get to this. Oh my gosh, this is just going to be so much fun. Let's see, copyright 1952. So this one's a smidge outside of our dates for May of the Moderns, but I, I may get to these this month regardless because I want to read all three of these. That is, and these are just glorious covers, so beautiful. So that was my book mail. I also got some other book mail. You guys, this blew my mind. Duh. This is the book I just ordered that I thought was going to take forever to get here was in my mailbox this morning actually yesterday uh, or Saturday, which I wasn't thinking, so I didn't even check on Saturday. This is A Day Like Spring. This is the Harlequin Romance 
by Jane Fraser, who is AKA Rosamond Pilcher. And look, you guys, look at this edition. It, it, it this met, is meeting all of my expectations. He, the the uh, seller said, like new, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Been burned by that one before. Look at this, it, it literally is like new. It's got the sprayed red edges. It's, I don't think, ever been red. Look at that cover. Isn't that just those 60s? Look at the guy in his little turtleneck. <laughs> the girl in her blue dot dress with a headband. 50 cents, this was originally 50 cents. So I am on the hunt now to find this. I paid $36 for this, which is more than I would normally pay for pretty much anything, especially online since it's so risky. Um, but I, I rarely, I, I rarely see these. And when I do see them online, they are usually fifty dollars, hundred fifty, hundred fifty plus dollars. So I think this one was actually a pretty good buy. And I'm just, I'm so excited to read this. I'm gonna have to be very careful with it because, you know, I generally say that I don't like to own things that are so precious that I would that I would cry if they got wrecked, but I would cry if this got wrecked. <laughs> it is just, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, and then lastly, we had, Greg and I had a fun excursion out yesterday. He works at our local uh, animal shelter, and one of the people that they work with a lot who does dog rescue was having an open house, and we wanted to go pop in, say hi, check out the dogs, support the sponsors. And so we thought, we'll just make a little day out of it. So we went up to this super cute little town in um, up north from us, it's called Edmonds. And we went to the dog event, petted some cute dogs, bought some, I bought some dog treats. She said they're, she said they were good for cats too. I just bought two little, little treats, cause, mostly because I wanted to support the sponsors of the event. And I, we went into Edmonds, we went to lunch, had a super cute little tiki bar. There's an independent bookstore there. So I stopped off at the bookstore. While I did that, Greg went into the bar next door because he didn't feel like puttering through the bookstore. So he went to the bar, I went to the bookstore, and then I met him at the bar and then we had a little drink and we then went for ice cream and it was just a wonderful day. But of course I did buy some more books and I did grab a little bit of footage while we were out yesterday. So I will, I'll pop that at the end of the video. Um, I, just to, if you're curious what our, what our day looked like, I'm going to, I wasn't, I wasn't going to share it, but it's probably like five minutes of, of some footage. So what I got at the, the bookstore yesterday um, well, first of all, they, you know, they've got the bookmarks. So this was the Edmonds books, bookshop, Edmonds bookshop. And they had a little bookmark for independent bookstore day. And I got, even though picture this 2022 is officially over, I, I couldn't resist getting a beautiful edition of Where the Wild Things Are. I love this book. I don't own one and I've, I've been wanting it for a while. So I went ahead and got this. Isn't that gorgeous? Love this one. And you know, I went to this bookstore with the intention of buying some books because I wanted to support our local books bookstore. Well, it's not local to me. It's, it's an hour away, but, um, but still it's local ish. Um, I also got this one, uh, Donna Leon, Give Unto Others. This is the 31st in the Inspector Brunetti mystery series. And I saw this one on Saturday and I did not buy it. I was actually thinking I'm not going to buy these anymore because it's up to 31 books. It's, it's losing a little bit of its oomph for me, but I couldn't resist. I do. I wanted to buy a book there. I also, I do want to support this author because I really have enjoyed her work so much over the years. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy it and I am going to read it. I have one other one. I haven't read the, the, the one right before this yet. So I do want to, I do want to read both of these. Maybe I will plan to do that this summer, but look at, that's another, another beautiful cover. This is Give Unto Others. And 
It's set in Venice, and I just, I've loved this series so much. It says, um, Brunetti is forced to confront the price of loyalty to his past and in his work as a seemingly, in seemingly innocent request leads him into troubling waters. And one thing that I love so much about these books is that they're, they're mysteries, but they're also a little bit of, of political intrigue in Venice and discussions about corruption. And they, they just, they're, they're so good. I hope I love this one. I, I, I feel like it's sort of getting to the end of the road for me with these, but I just, I couldn't resist it. So that was, a, that was a, a good find. And then I also got another edition of The Odyssey by Homer. This is the Emily Watson, uh, Wilson translation. And I've been wanting this one. I was so hoping to find this one used, but I couldn't find it used. So I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a new edition of it. I thought I'm working on the Fagels, I'm reading the Fagels translation right now, but I thought it would be fun to just maybe do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison, not fully, but I've been wanting this one and it's beautiful. And so I bought this one too. Um, so that was my wonderful, wonderful bookish week. Let's see if I can hold all of these up without damaging any of my beauties. I'm going to be very careful with this because, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. So excited about this book stack. I am, oh, I'm just over the moon. So thank you to Kim for sending me my book present and I will talk to you later. Bye. Are we on this? Oh, it's across the street. I was wrong. I thought I was on this side of the street. Oh. We need to go back. Okay. I'm going to go to Angles Pub. Well, uh. No, I am. The pub too. Uh, so I've got to make decisions. These are the hard <laughs> things. Addiction. Or books? Books or booze? Yeah. Ooh, look at that Edmund's Jazz Walk, May oh. 21st. What? Oh. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Left. Ready. The Red Twig or the English Pub? You sure you want to go to the bookstore with me? So sad. Okay, I'll find you over here.